All right, class. Let's look at center line perimeter as it relates to that silly concrete pipe question. Now, as a carpenter, I'm not I'm not too confident that you're going to pour too many concrete pipes. I've been at it for 25 years. I haven't poured a concrete pipe. However, this question keeps coming up, up on uh, certificate of qualifications uh, in your carpentry apprenticeship and your different uh, level three in your uh, concrete section there. So we want to make sure that we understand center line perimeter as it deals with uh, circles. Right. And who knows, maybe one day you'll get some round patios that you have to pour and, and this will become uh, useful to you. So when we're looking at this, we want to find the imaginary uh, center line that is between the inner circumference of the pipe and the outer circumference of the pipe. And for that, we need to know a few things. One, number one, we know that the pipe from the outside wall to the outside wall is nine feet. And we know that the wall itself is 10 inches thick. Now, 10 inches, nine feet, we're gonna work in the same unit. So let's already up here, 10 divided by 12 is 0 0.833 feet. Okay, so 10 inches will always be known from this point forward as 0.8333 feet. And the last thing we need to know is that the pipe needs to be 10 feet tall. Now, I didn't draw this uh, isometric uh, or for you because I didn't want to take up too much paper. So the what you need to find out is the circumference of the circle uh, and the diameter of the circle, right? So first off, we have the nine foot diameter that is known, right? And now what we want to do is we want to figure out what would be the diameter of the center line right here. Okay, so if we continued our kind of hidden dash line all the way around representing the center of this right, all the way through, we would take five inches off of the left side and we would end up taking five inches off of the right side. So five plus five equals 10. So what we're going to do to find our center line diameter, we're going to take our existing outside of pipe diameter, nine feet, and we're going to subtract the full wall thickness, which is half on the left, half on the right. So we're going to subtract 0 0.833 feet, and that is going to give us a center line diameter of 8.1667 feet. So the center line circumference then is going to be the center line diameter of 8.1667 feet multiplied by pi or 3.14159. Then we get a center line circumference, a center line circumference of uh, 25.66 feet. Now, we want to figure out volume of this, right? The whole idea of starting this is to figure how much concrete was required. And remember we did our first example, we fit, found the volume of the entire cylinder. Then we found the volume of the inner cylinder and we subtracted the inner from the outer, we got the volume that remains. Well, this time around, we can do it much simpler, right? We can take our center line circumference, center line circumference, multiply that by the height of the pipe and multiply it by the wall thickness of the pipe. And that is going to give you your volume. Okay, so a very streamlined process uh, from what we are used to. So if we grab our calculator and we get ready to go here, we can then say that the volume is equal to our center line circumference, right? So our center line circumference is 25.66 feet. Multiply that by the height, right? And we have a pipe that is 10 feet tall by 10 feet and multiply finally by our wall thickness, 10 inches. We can't have inches here, it's feet, feet, and feet. So this is going to be multiplied by 0 0.833 volume equals, okay? So let's get our calculator tuned up here. 25.66 center line circumference multiplied by the height of the pipe, 10 feet, multiplied by the thickness of the pipe wall, 0 0.833 feet. 
and we end up with a total volume of 213 point seven five cubic feet divide that number by 35.32 to find our cubic meters and we end up with the volume of 6.1 cubic meters 6.1 cubic meters of concrete required so center line perimeter of a concrete pipe fairly simple simple volume calculation and something to remember again not so much for your career but to get you through some of the uh, ministry tests and some of the apprenticeship tests that are in your future okay stay tuned the next video is going to talk to you about center line perimeter and how we can use that for figuring out the linear feet of form work uh, forming material required.